know, Ben Hogan said, if a person played golf by natural instinct, they would never finish a round. And that's why golf has to be, you have to go against your natural instincts to play golf. And uh, it's like other sports, uh, like racket games or ping pong. In those, you know, you, you learn to control the flight of the ball and the spin of the ball by the rotation of the, of the, uh, the either the racket, you know, or the paddle. And in golf, it's the same way. You can look down at the club head and you can see that loft on the club and you think it's made to scoop the ball up rather than you need to learn to rotate your hands through the ball. Very much like in racquetball. Now, if I could just use this as like as a tennis racket. You know, when I played tennis, when I first started playing, I would always try to scoop it up and hit it over the racket and I'd go way out over the court. I had to learn to hold it face the face through and rotate the face through, almost like I'm hitting a topspin uh, in tennis. The same thing goes like in ping pong. If you try to scoop the ball over the net, it goes up too high and you'll miss the, the uh, other side of the court. So you need to learn to turn the wrists and you come through and you hit this overhand topspin shot. Now that's the same feeling you should have with a golf club. When you come into the ball, you don't want to feel like you're going to go under and scoop the ball up in the air, but you want the club to come around in a circular arc and to rotate the hands over just like you're hitting a top spin shot in tennis or in ping pong. So the movement is like this. You feel like you're coming around and this way in the arc as you come around the ball. This is what you should feel like. And that produces that nice little draw just like the pros. So that's the way you feel your way to better golf with that nice rotation of the hands through the ball.